I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. And the rain looks like it's going to make things a little bit slippery out there for today's game between the Maryland Terrapins and the Clemson Tigers. We're near the midpoint of the college football season, and these two teams are battling for position in the ACC. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Clemson looks to unveil their high-powered offense. The guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. Hey, guys, I'm going with the Tigers. kick this one away and he got all of this one great kick Martinez fields it in the end zone well folks you're in for a treat today taking the field for this offense is a very very talented running back this offense really thrives on him getting things going on the ground. But, Brad, it's not going to be easy today. He's going up against a very tough run defense. Yeah, this defense has been watching film of his playmaking running back all week. They're up to the challenge, and if they shut him down, it can ultimately decide the outcome of this game. Goodbye! Oh, wow! I can't believe it! What an amazing run! How about the fact that not one player on the entire defense even touched it? Kirk, you've got 11 guys on the field, and he just blew by all of them. And he hits the PAT. Ready to kick this one off. James and Baker deep to return. Kicks it off. James fields it at the three. Tries to juke. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. Clemson goes with the ace set here. Brown, back to throw. He's looking. Aaron and out long. Incomplete pass. you got to keep it under control. That's some nice arm strength, but it doesn't matter if it's not on target. You're absolutely right, Coach. You have to be accurate on those type of passes. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 24. Here's the option. Stop behind the line. Third and 11, ball on the 23-yard line. 
Clemson comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He jukes. They'll drop him for a loss. The Tiger are lining up to punt it away. Kraft gets it off. Martinez calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 36-yard line. Looks to me as though the offensive line is ready to run the ball some more. And that defensive line better be ready because if they aren't, they'll be giving up another touchdown drive. They'll start this drive at the 36. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. And that one's fallen incomplete. What a blow to knock it out of there before he got possession. Good night. That half-bike is going to want to take a breather after that collision. Second and ten. Ball on their own 36. One man backfield. There's the play fake. Across the middle. Got it to the senior. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Maryland. What an impressive call. I can hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? And he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. like they're ready for the kickoff. James back deep to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. James takes it at the four. At the 30. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll set up shot at the 44-yard line. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Fires deep down the left side. It's tipped. Great defensive play by the cornerback. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. Going with the shotgun here. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Throws down the middle. He makes a diving catch. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. Brown is back in the gun. Brown, back to pass. Looking. He's going right. Caught, and they tackle him. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. Here are the red zone stats so far this season. What do you think, Lee? Well, if they're inside the 20, you better not go anywhere because somebody is about to score. Clemson in a four-wide set. They'll run the option. Sure 
Sherman tackles him for a loss on the play. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Good thing that wasn't a turnover. I thought he was going to pitch it there. Second and 13. This is the fifth play of this drive. From the gun. He drops back. He's looking. Over the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Whoa! That was a bullet. A bullet that landed incomplete. I don't care. That was some impressive arm strength. Third and 13, Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Tiger come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good the receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. And it hits the upright. No good. They'll go to work at the 24-yard line. The Terrapins come out showing three wide. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Offsides on the defense. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. First and five, ball of the 29. They'll throw on first down. Short draw. And it falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and five to go. Ball on their own 29. Maryland. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They hand it off. Brought down. That'll be a gain of three yards. On the carry. Three yard gain on the play. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Turks come to the line with their jumbo packing. there on the top and he's hit hard but hold on we got a penalty on the play let's check it out and it's a good one. Mooney takes it to 21. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. They'll take over at the 28. The Tigers come out of the ace formation, drops back to pass with the throw, and he's tackled. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Clemson comes out of the shotgun. He steps up. Wheeler comes away with a sack. There's sack number four. Boy, I really like the way this defense is pressing the quarterback. Not much you can do out there. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnover. Third and 14. Ball on the 24-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Looks. 
Across the middle. And it's caught. Reese brings him down. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. Brown has four receivers lined up here. Brown drops back. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That gives this defensive unit five sacks for the ball game. The defense came into this game with a game plan to put the pressure on the quarterback. It's safe to say they're happy with their performance. Second and 11. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tiger set up in the gun. He drops back, steps up. Dupu, Davis tackles him for a loss on the play. And there's sack number six on the day. Kirk, who's at fault here? The O-line for not blocking well or the quarterback for not getting rid of the football? I'd say you can blame both the offensive line and the quarterback, but don't forget about the receivers. They're not helping matters. They're not getting open. So you're seeing a lot of coverage sacks as well. Back to pass. And now he's going to improvise. He breaks free. He's knocked out of bounds. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. It's first and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws this one out to the left. Tackle. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Going deep. He brings it down. Touchdown. They were looking for a big play, and they got one. Mr. All-American himself scores the touchdown. Wow, he makes it look easy, doesn't he? Plays like that are why this young man could end up making a I mean, lots of money catching the old pigskin someday. And he hits the PAT. Under a minute now in the first quarter. And the score, Maryland 14, Clemson 7. Clemson to kick. Martinez and Bray back ready to return. Kicks it deep. Martinez fields it in the end zone. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. Now let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. The Turks come out in the ace formation. Keep it on the ground with the tailback. Johnson with a takedown. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard game on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21. The Terrapin come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. Tate brings him down. Six yards that time on the pass play. Gain of six on the play. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Turks come to the line with their jumbo package. After a quarter of play, our score is Maryland 14, Clemson 7.
Third down and three coming up. Ball on their own 27. They line up in the jumbo set. Nice play fake. Down the middle. Intercepted by the linebacker. Looks like the quarterback was rattled by that pressure. Well, let me tell you, the best ones will sit there and take a hit and make the throw. This kid's got to stand there if he wants those passes completed to his team, not the other. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. And down he goes. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. It falls incomplete. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 38. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Rolls to the right. And down he goes. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that. He couldn't have done much, but I'll tell you one thing he could have done. He could have thrown the ball away, Kurt. You know that. He could have thrown that ball away. The Tigers are lining up the punt it away. Kraft boots it way up there. Reese signals for a fair catch. Gorman fields it at the nine. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 10. Still has it. He's looking. Home run ball in the air. It's tipped. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own ten. One man backfield. Adams set to go to the air. Complete. McCullough with a takedown. Eight yards on the pickup. Gain of eight on the play. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 18. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Maryland lining up the punt. Punts the ball away. Mooney fields it at the 41. Inside the 30. Big opening. Touchdown, Clemson. How about that play? Woo, what an incredible display of athleticism and balance. The ability to turn something out of nothing. Tacks on the extra point. Just over five minutes now remaining in the second quarter. And the score, Clemson 14, Maryland 14.
Clemson ready to kick this one off. Gray and Martinez back to return. He puts it deep downfield. Gray feels it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive. They were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. And maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. The Turks come out in the ace formation. Adam with the give. McCullough brings him down. A pickup of about three. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Maryland sets up in the eye. Again with a carry. There's a missed tackle. Boy, with a takedown. Three-yard gain by the running back. Three-yard gain on the play. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 26-yard line. Maryland will line up in a jumbo set here. Adam steps back to pass. He steps up. He's looking down the middle. And he's taken down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. Maryland sets up in the eye. Across the middle, incomplete pass. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 40. The turf come out of the ace formation. A little juke. Robinson brings him down. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back, looks, throws it to the outside. Couldn't complete that one to his halfback. He just needed a little less air under it. Maryland lining up the punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. Mooney fields it at the 13. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll start this drive at the 17. One man backfield. They'll throw on first down. Looking across the middle, and it's caught. Tackle. That's four yards on the play. Gain of four on the play. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 21. Keep an eye on that cornerback down there. He has big play potential. He spins around, and he's tackled. Round on the carry. No game on the play. Third and six. Ball on their own 21. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. He's looking, throws back across field. Nobody out to cover the running back. They didn't have the ball on there. Having ball control is important in football, and three and out is what you want to avoid for sure. They line up to punt this one away. Kraft punts it, and it's a good one. 
Martinez takes it to 33. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. The Terrapins come out in the ace formation. Inside handoff. Collins with a takedown. Nothing gained on the play. No gain on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Single set backfield. Play action. Throw. Complete. About a five-yard pickup on the old play action pass. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 40-yard line. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. They'll go with the run once again. Russ brings him down at the 44-yard line. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. The Clemson calls a timeout. Mooney is deep to receive, and something tells me he's looking for a second return. Brantley punts it, and it's a good one. Mooney calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 20. Clemson comes out with an eye formation. Bush gets a toss. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Knocked out of bounds. So we get to see his arm, and he gets it out there for a first down off the trick play. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Brown lines up with five wide out. Brown, back to throw. He has some room. No one open, so he's going to run. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Brown is back in the gun. Brown drops back to pass. Brooks, he's going right. And it's caught. Tackle. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Tigers line up with four wide out. Across the middle. He catches another. And he's tackled. Clemson takes a timeout. Look at the stats from within the red zone brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He can scoop, and down he goes. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. the gun. Taking big move. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. 
Brown drops the throw, and it's incomplete. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. Brown with three wide receivers. Brown set to go to the air. Looking. End zone. Has it to the senior. Loss of a yard. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. He gets it up, and it sails through the upright. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. Kicks it off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense gets ready to start a new drive. The Rangers couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Maryland lines up in a goal line set. with some room. McCullough with a monster hit. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Clemson 17, Maryland 14. Ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Baker takes it at the four. He jukes him. At the 30. Can't wrap him up. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping on the receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First and ten, ball on their own 11. Brown comes to the line with three wide. Brown on first down, lets it fly. Complete, and he shoved out of bounds. Three yards there on the play. Three yard gain on the play. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on their own 14. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Brown hands off to the left, and they got him for a loss. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback on the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. Third down and seven. Ball on the 14-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He throws it. And it's the senior. Bates brings him down. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. Well, fellas, earlier in the game, we mentioned how this offense really depends on their talented running back to get things going for it. 
He's having a heck of a game so far, but they're still down on the scoreboard. Yeah, but the fact that they're losing is no reflection on him. Like he said, he's doing an excellent job out there running the football. If the rest of his teammates start to play as hard as he's playing, then they'll be in control of this game in no time. Hey, how about the fact that no one expected him to run like this against these linebackers? Come on, I know it's only been a half, but I am more impressed with him even if his team is losing. to being intercepted. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. Second and 10. Ball on their own 41. The Terrapins come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Let's it go. And it falls incomplete. Johnson, the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 41. Adam lines up in the shotgun. Steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. And he's got him on the fly. And they make the stop. And we got an injured player on the field. He's holding on to his foot there. But I couldn't see exactly what happened. First and 10. Ball on the 35. They line up in an eye. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. He's rolling right. He's going right. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. He'll get the call again. Makes a move. Oliver with a takedown. And the short gain is enough for the first. Boy, I like that play call. Go ahead and get the first down here. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down mark. First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Turks come out of the ace formation. Steps up in the pocket. He'll dump this one off. And they make the stop. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. And this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who you can rely on. Second and two coming up here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They're lining up in the 5-2. Garcia brings him down for a loss. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Ace backfield, back to pass. He steps up. He's going right. It falls incomplete. He was facing a mad rush when he threw that ball into the end zone. They came after him, sweetheart. Big time. Here comes the special teams. They'll try to tie this game up with a field goal. It's up, and it splits the upright. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Maryland is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. James fields it in the end zone. Bubble 
fumbles the ball. And they fall on the loose ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. McGee, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. Look, he's under pressure. He tosses it short. Sherman with a monster hit. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25. The Tiger line up with four wideouts. Brown drops back down the middle. And he dropped it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 25. The Tiger have five receivers on this play. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking. Comes across the middle. And it's incomplete. There's no excuse for dropping a pass. Yeah, that ball had some heat on it. I don't care. Drop passes are inexcusable. Clemson, ready to put this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Martinez fields it at the 30. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 29-yard line. On the inside handoff, tried to juke, brought down. That's 100 yards rushing for the day, guys. You know, Brad, 100 yards is a great day, but the thing that I've been most impressed with is the way he's been able to accomplish that with such great effort. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 35. The Terrapins come out of the ace formation. Martinez gets a pitch. He's going to try to throw. There's a fumble. McCullough with a recovery. And so they lose possession on the fumble. I'm sure that quarterback will have an excuse for that last fumble. Ha! Huh, an excuse, huh? Well, guess what? There's an old saying that says excuses are like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, easy, Coach. I know how the saying goes, but we're live on the air here. Yep, you're right. But if he were my quarterback and came to me with an excuse, he would have heard the old saying. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. He unloads it. Complete tackle. They tried a little play fake that time and got maybe a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 28. The Tigers line up with three wide. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. Has it to the senior. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 20-yard line. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. He breaks free. And he's tackled. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Williams back to throw. He'll dump this one off. Got his man. Touchdown. 
What a target that tight end is close to the goal line. Well, the coach has to be happy with this guy's play so far, so I would expect to see a lot of passes thrown his way, especially in short yardage situations. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, Clemson 24, Maryland 17. Clemson, ready to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Martinez feels it in the end zone. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I hate to see that if it happens again. They'll take over at the 41. The Turks go with the I formation. On the ground is the tailback. Johnson with a takedown. And they pick up two yards. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 43. They come out with three wide receivers. He's looking. Across the middle. Incomplete. Drop pass. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. Third and eight. Ball on the 43-yard line. Maryland comes to the line with three wide. Adam steps back to pass. Chucks it deep down the right side. Off his hands and incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. And they're ready to punt this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Mooney fields it at the 13. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 19-yard line. The Tigers line up with three wide. Play action. Across the middle. Found his man. And down he goes. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Tigers with four receivers. Brown hands it off. No, play fake. Incomplete pass. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Brown options out to the right. Mill brings him down. Around five yards there on the option keep. Right. 
Third and five. Ball on the 50. Brown comes to the line with three wide. Here's an option, right side. He jukes, he laterals, and it's scooped up by the running back. Wheeler with a takedown. They run the option, and it almost cost them. You can't fumble the football like that. The coach is calling the option because he trusts his players to take care of the football. They are very, very fortunate to get that one back. They sure are. That one had turnover written all over it. They line up to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Howell signals for a fair catch, and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. The Terrapins come out in the ace formation. He's looking for his man, and it's caught. He's gobbled up in the backfield. It's stopped for a five-yard loss. Second and 15. Ball on the 15-yard line. The turf set up in the gun. He drilled as he throws. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on their own 15. The Terrapins come out in the shotgun. Adams drops the throw. Looks. Wants to go long and does. The ball is high and he got it. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First and 10. Ball on the 41. The Turks line up in an eye formation. Martinez gets it on a pitch. Yuku gets past the tackler. And now he's got room to run. And he's hit hard. He picked up the first down on that one. Yeah, I like the way they ran the ball in that play. There's more where that came from. Believe me. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Terrapins come out in the ace formation. The senior makes the catch. A four-yard loss. It's second down now, 14 to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Adam with three wide receivers. Cut. Cut. Martinez gets another carry. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. So another third down facing the offense, and this one is third and long. Adam is in the zone and looking to make a play. He drops back. Down the middle. Complete. Foster brings him down. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. And they're going to go for it. He's hit and got away. He has some room, and they're in. Touchdown. That gives him two rushing scores on the day. And he hit. 
hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. James fields it in the end zone. Breaks one. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll start this drive at the 22. When this quarterback's in the zone, as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. Tackle picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 23. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. Drops back to pass. Sheds a tackler. And now he's going to improvise. A little juke. And he's tackled. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Brown comes to the line with three wide. McFadden gets the carry. Brought down. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First and ten. Ball on the 50. Clemson. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Inside handoff. And down he goes. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Tigers set up in the gun. Brown set to go to the air. Here he goes. With a takedown. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They line up in the shotgun. And they'll run him again. A little shake and bake move. Reese brings him down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Their last Red Zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. And it's incomplete. So it's second and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Ace backfield. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He'll dump this one off. White with a takedown. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yeah, just a wasted play right there. Third down and seven. Ball on the 14-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Brown, back to throw, looks to the end zone. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double team him. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Clemson 31, Maryland 24.
Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll take over at the 20. Ace backfield. He drops back. He steps up. Down the middle. Incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Maryland lines up in a shotgun set. Draw play. And he's stopped behind the line. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. Third and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. Maryland lines up with three receivers. Looking. Fires. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Oh, he had his man, too. Yep, he just overthrew him. Next time, he might want to take something off of it. Martinez, alone in the backfield. Adams, back to pass. Steps up, throws it to the outside. And he's tackled. This quarterback acts like he doesn't even know it's fourth down out there. Did you see how calm he looked in the pocket? He showed great composure. I don't think he's done moving the ball down the field. Adam is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Defensive lineman did a good job getting a hand up. Yep, he broke up that play by paying attention to the quarterback, and then he timed his swat perfectly. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. Inside the 30 to the 20. They'll bring him down. What do you think of that catch, Kirk? What a steady performer this player has been. That's now over 100 yards receiving on the day for this fine young man. A look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Turks line up with two tight ends. He jukes him. Franklin brings him down. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Hold it. On the offense. Tim Still the first Beep. Beep. Uh, Skeeter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. First and long. Ball on the 22-yard line. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. Maryland calls a timeout. It's second down and a long ways to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Adam with three wide receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Comes across the middle. And got it complete. Mooney with a takedown. Flags are down and this one might be on the offense. On the offense. Maryland takes a timeout.
Second and long. Ball on the 31. Two tight ends here. Nice play fake. Throws a lob pass out to the left. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Third down and a couple miles here. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Ace backfield, back to pass. Fires deep down the right side. That is ball. And it falls incomplete. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Six DBs in the lineup. Adam drops back to pass. He's looking. He might not be able to get the pass off. Offense falls on it. Yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this drive. Maryland calls the timeout. zone stats so far this season. What do you think, Lee? Well, if they're inside the 20, you better not go anywhere because somebody is about to score. And he'll just kneel it here. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball in 34. And the impact receiver is in the zone right now. plays zero first downs not what they had in mind well this defense looks very impressive right now they suffocated the offense that go around and this one's all wrapped up any final thoughts on this one coach this is why i'm up here with you guys coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack Clemson really got all he asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2006. We hope you all join us again.